Yo, Yankees fans, the hot stove does not stop. Make sure you tune into the Yes Network at 7 p.m. today. But before so, there has been news that the Yankees are strongly interested in Marlins' JT Rumutu. Heyman says that the Yankees could possibly dangle Gary Sanchez in those trade talks. But in my honest opinion, it will make absolutely zero sense for this fact. Gary Sanchez is making 600 k per season. If you have been following my channel for quite some time, now I am the first one, by the way, to recommend the Yankees go after JT Rumutu. You can just uh, YouTube it. JT Rumutu, Yankees. JT Rumuto, Mutu. I know people are going to correct me on that. But I think Gary Sanchez would make a phenomenal DH and platoon catcher. I think if the Yankees go out and trade for a catcher like JT, specifically him, the Yankees are going to be contenders for years to come. I'm talking about certified contenders. A team that has Gary Sanchez as your full-time DH and JT Rumutu behind the plate is a better team compared to, let's say, if you go out via free agency and try to attempt to sign one of these big free agents. But, John Carlos Stanton is going to have to have to be your everyday left fielder and once in a while DH. This is why people think that I believe John Carlos Stanton is a bum. No, John Carlos Stanton is an excellent player. I just think he handicaps the Yankees in many ways, specifically at DH. Specifically, he's about to make $32 million dollars and he's going to be your full-time DH. That makes absolutely zero sense. What makes more sense is having Gary Sanchez as your full-time DH making 600 k per season. Obviously, we have seen that Gary Sanchez cannot catch a full season without his body breaking down. Yes, Gary Sanchez had a horrible season, but he showed up come playoff time. Back-to-back -back seasons, by the way. This is why I would not trade away Gary Sanchez. He shows up when it counts. But I do like the idea of trading for a Rimutu and having him be your full-time catcher. So, they are saying that the Astros have fallen off the radar when it comes to acquiring JT. And there's another team, supposedly the Yankees, that are hard on trading for him. The three teams involved that really want Riamutu are the Dodgers, Yankees, and Astros. And supposedly, the Yankees are on top of the list for acquiring JT. And guess what? He might come with a Starling Castro. He might come with a Martin Prado. So there's a lot of positions that could be answered with a trade with the Marlins. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this new talk about the possibility of the Yankees training for JT Realmutu? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time.